welcome to a night in my life. So the first order of business whenever I get home, I gotta get a bunch of work done is to get the office set up right. And I got lights everywhere, which one makes filming content a lot easier. Tonight, we're filming long form. And then especially on work nights, gotta have a little Bev. So what I want to do in today's video is show you guys a typical night in the life of myself being a full time creative with a nine to five, but taking you guys kind of behind the scenes and looking at what my five to nine or what my after work hours are. And let's be real. It's not five to nine. It's more like five to midnight. But yeah, I want to kind of show you guys what a typical evening for me looks like after work. Just got home, changed, picked up some mail and then cracked a mini can of ghost energy. If you guys aren't familiar. This is the company that I work for. That is where I'm working 40 plus hours a week. Super awesome company, it was a dream for me to always work there and be a part of. So yeah, right now I think it's about six o'clock. I like these mini cans because they have like 100 milligrams of caffeine, which I'm sure some people will be on me for drinking caffeine this late in the evening. But for me, we still got like six plus hours till we're going to bed. So getting a little boost. And this one is fire. So actually, before we get any work started, I have a couple of things to unbox. I figure I'd show you guys what they are. So this one, this is something <laughs> that's not new to me. Well, kind of is new. I'll show you, it'll make sense here in a second. Check this out. That's right, we got a new camera. <laughs> it's the ZV-E1. Now, in case you guys are wondering why I got this in the mail, because I already have a ZV-E1, I actually had to send in my ZV-E1 for repair. Luckily, I have multiple cameras here. Obviously, I'm a big tech camera nerd, so I have more than one camera, which um, is awesome, but I love this ZV-E1. But a few videos back, I was talking about why I had to send it in. Basically, my audio jack just wasn't working in the camera, so I sent it in for repair. And for whatever reason, the parts were on back order, and it's been like over a month. So huge shout out to Sony, because they just sent me a brand new one. So I have a brand new ZV-E1 right here, straight out of the package, and I will gladly take that. So I have two Sony camera bodies. I have the Sony ZV-E1, and I also, right now I'm filming on the Sony FX3. I recently have dropped videos kind of reviewing both of these um, after some long-term use. So two long-term reviews on the channel on the ZV-E1 and the FX3. They have some similarities, but also a lot of differences. I use this ZV-E1 for a lot more just kind of like my run and gun stuff. It also has a really great internal microphone. So if I don't want to have a shotgun mic on, or if I just want something super small and minimal, the ZV-E1 is it. It's also great for vertical content just because of the form factor. And then the FX3, which you guys are seeing the footage right now on, is really just my main workhorse. I use it for more of my long form videos um, or whenever I need two camera angles, obviously I'm rocking both camera bodies. The next up here, this is not as fun, but kind of fun. So I, I figured I might as well show you guys. There it is. So passport, had to renew my passport, which is such a pain to do now, let me tell you guys. It's such a process that they make you do and it's so easy to mess up, but I'm actually going overseas for my first time ever in March. We are going to um, the Arnold UK for Ghost. So I'm actually really stoked for that. I've never been overseas before, so had to renew my passport. So glad that got in in time. So for all my other creatives out here, if you're wondering how I'm lit here in my office, this giant softbox sits here and that's kind of like my main light most of the time and then I can obviously this is on C stand so I can move it around raise it lower it etc but this isn't usually on when I'm working that's really just on for filming or creating content and it gives me that soft beautiful light and for whatever reason if you guys haven't seen my entire office tour video showing off this entire space go watch it it's one of my favorite videos yet but if you are an NBA fan let me know down in the comments below or if anyone else can relate to this I always have something playing on that TV. Even if I'm not really watching it, I don't know if that's ADHD, I don't know if that's just me looking for distractions, but I always have something up on that TV, usually some sort of sports. I'm an NBA guy, but also football up there. Any sports really, maybe a little Food Network too sometimes. And actually real quick, so actually a buddy of mine, um, Scott, he's a co-owner of a company that I wear a ton of their clothes of. You might see my shirt right here. Uh, it says AAO, it's their new collection called Against All Odds. The company is called Uphill. It's not unboxing because I unboxed this like yesterday, but they have a new drop going down this week. 
So I got some of their hats, a couple tees. I mean, look at the back of this shirt, sick. I'll leave a link to their page down in the comments below just cause I know people always ask about, you know, hats, things, stuff like that, what I'm wearing. And you have to always support your friends, especially your creator friends. If you know, you know. You guys wanna eat? Come on. Dinner, come on. All right, so for dinner tonight, we got a little leftover chili. We hit that crock pot on Sunday, so we had chili for the whole week. Chili, little cornbread, doesn't get much better than that. Person is like across the world, so that's why I'm taking a meeting at like 10 p.m. It is presentable, it's not. This man low dropped an hour and a half vlog. That's a movie, but it's crushing, which is awesome to see. I said this at the beginning of the year, I think long form is the wave this year. I think it's what people are kind of craving with just a couple years of just being such fast paced in your face, short form content. I think there's still a time and a place for that. And obviously I still do it some too, but people are wanting some more of that slower pace, long form content. You just get a better connection with a creator that way. So if you're a creator and you're not doing long form, I suggest you get on it. All right, so as far as what I have to work on this evening, hang on, my window's open. That is one thing about having all these lights on and especially my gaming PC. It just gets hot in this office. I'm sure you guys can relate. These days, I'm mostly working out in the mornings. So after work, usually I'm coming home, kind of decompressing for a hot second, eating dinner either by myself or with Miranda, and then I dive into some work. A lot of times that might include filming content, whether it be short form or long form, or a lot of times editing some of that content as well. But as far as tonight goes, I have the pleasure of working on taxes. Now taxes is always a thing, right? But it's it's interesting for me to do it this year. Now I did personal content for like over three years without seeing a single dime. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of videos. But last year was really the first year I got to see the potential of what is possible with this, with my own eyes at least. And it was the first year I really made some serious money. So I have my own LLC, right? Which is what I do all of my content under. It's been that way for years. And obviously you have your write-offs and your business expenses. You guys know I buy a lot of tech, I buy a lot of camera gear, I review it, I make content around it. Those are our business expenses for me. But most every year, my business takes a loss because my expenses end up being more than what I'm actually bringing in. But this is the first year ever I've made substantially more than my expenses for the year, which is actually a really cool feeling, but also kind of makes me not exactly sure how taxes are going to go. So luckily I've put money away and to the side to kind of have myself a safety net. So we'll kind of see, but just finishing up, kind of getting all my expenses in from last year, then sending it off to the tax guy. But let's be real, taxes are never fun. But speaking of business expenses, let's talk about this. Now this is the Fuji X100V. I'm gonna give you guys a 15 second rundown on this camera and why this camera is so hyped up. Now I do have some content on it on my channel if you haven't checked it out already. But this right now for the past couple years is the hottest point and shoot camera on the planet. And what makes it so cool is one, aesthetically it looks cool. But secondly, we all know about presets, right? I have my own Lightroom presets. It's basically how I edit my photos. You guys can get them in the first link down in the description. But presets basically are the edits that you have for your photos, right? And the unique thing about Fujifilm cameras is they have something inside of them called recipes, which is basically baked in presets. This camera is a affordable, it looks cool, it's small and compact, and the images out of it look unbelievable. And this is the X100V, and they actually just came out with the new version of this, which is the X106. It's weird they go from V to six. I know V is Roman numerals for five, but we're all used to saying X100V, and now it's X106. It just, V sounded cooler. But anyways, I bring that up because you know I had to pre-order it. So this has been an awesome camera, insanely hard to get actually, like still to this day, it's been hard to get. So I imagine I'll be selling this very soon. So stay locked in on my IG. I'll probably give people first dibs over there. But yes, I have my pre-order in for the brand new Fujifilm camera. People are losing their minds over it, including myself, because this is, it's such a sick camera and I'm really excited to get my hands on it. So that's my first purchase really of 2024. Serious purchase. Well, okay. We got this sitting right here. But yeah, it's one of my first purchases of this year. So stay tuned for X106 content coming soon.
Okay, this just got delivered and I wanna show you guys a little sneak peek. So this is a Short Stash and Polar Pro collab. Now Polar Pro makes some awesome products. I'm sure you guys have seen the Peter McKinnon Variable Indie filters. I feel like every creator I know uses these filters. They're amazing. Well, Short Stash has something that is dropping with Polar Pro on the 29th. It's different from that, but makes a lot of sense for Short Stash. If you're not familiar with his content, go follow that man. He is one of the best photographers in the world. I I mean, I have one of his canvases on my wall. He showed me a sneak peek of this last year in Utah, and I'm beyond stoked to get my hands on that. Dropping the 29th, and stay tuned for more content from me. Garrett, if you're watching this, I appreciate you, bro. I am on dog duty in the evening, so taking the two girls out one at a time because, to be honest, they're kind of slow, so one at a time is a little bit easier. Daphne, you're up first, girl. <laughs> Also finally in Chicago, it's now like in the 50s, so it's actually not too bad out. It was cold there for a while, so we'll take that. Come on, Daph, going outside, girl. And I know what you're thinking, I'm a 6'5 large man walking a 10 pound long hair chihuahua. That's how we roll, okay? And now time for doggy number two. This one moves a little faster than the other one. Also for anyone who's like me and spins hours a day staring at their screen. You gotta get out of the house at some points and not be staring at a computer. So honestly, taking the dogs out, it's not too bad. All right guys, so finishing off my evening with, I got one of the new Ghost Hydration drinks. And I promise you this is not sponsored, okay? But hydration drink kind of curbs that sweet tooth late at night. This is my favorite flavor, kiwi strawberry. It is insane. So good. So kind of winding down for the evening. I actually got all my tax stuff done, which was a huge thing to check off my list. I also finished up editing a short form video, which I will be posting either tomorrow or the next day. I'm trying to stay as consistent as I can with that. But to finish off the evening, especially going into the weekend, I decided to fire up Call of Duty. I'm gonna see if anyone's online, get a couple games in before I crash for the night. You know, as much as I put my head down in work, on actual work and personal content, it takes up a ton of my free time, but you gotta still have some time to just relax, blow off some steam, and for me, that's always playing a little bit of games. And honestly, that's something I'm trying to do more and more with this channel, and what I've been trying to do with some of my recent videos. I wanna be able to just document more of just what my actual life is. Yes, I love doing the reviews, and yes, I love doing some of the sit-down videos, that will always be a thing, but I also wanna do some more vlogs and videos like this, showing you guys behind the scenes of what actually goes on with me. That's the content that I've been enjoying watching lately. It seems like you guys are connecting with it as well, so please let me know down in the comments below if I should continue this and what else you guys wanna see from me. But guys, that is gonna be it for me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing kind of what a typical evening is like for myself. Be sure to drop this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel as well. We are on the road to hitting 100K subscribers and I need your guys' help. But I'm gonna get back to this and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.